Hello, welcome to Bucket List Time with Ann and Wayne. Uh, obviously, Ann's not with me today. Uh, she's out doing other things. But I want to do a review of these mirrors that we purchased uh, for our car. We recently purchased a, a, a camper. It's a, sitting over there. You can't see it in this angle. But it's a Kodiak Ultralight 24-foot camper. We really like it. We will be doing some uh, videos of that as we have time. But in bringing it home, the one thing I noticed that was a real safety issue was my mirrors on my car just don't extend out far enough that I could safely see around the camper. And that really bothers me. I mean, it, I couldn't do lane changes because I couldn't tell if somebody was coming around me or not. Uh, so this is something that I saw as a real serious safety issue. So I bought a pair of these uh, bar mount uh, mirrors. They're by a company called SIPA. I guess that's how you pronounce it. It's C-I-P-A. Uh, it's a bar mount. Um, and searching for mirrors, there are mirrors that you can purchase for a lot of vehicles that slide over your existing mirrors and they seem to have a lot better reviews. Uh, unfortunately for me, for my make and model of car, I couldn't get that type. They just don't make it. So my options were rather limited. But these bar mount mirrors will mount and uh, I use them. Uh, we went camping one time already and there's things I like, things I don't like and also I've heard some problems from other people about these mirrors that we'll talk about toward the end of the video and how to remedy that. So uh, let's start out with how you install them. Now to start out with, both mirrors are exactly the same, but they are reversible for uh, either side of the vehicle. And I, like I said earlier, I do have two of them. And uh, you got these little clamps. Uh, uh, hopefully you, that'll focus on that. It may not. But I'll put a picture up in the corner so you can see a little bit better. But the, this edge right here of your mirror goes in that groove, and there's two of them, to mount it. Uh, so this one is somewhat adjusted. They just fit on like that. You turn the screws down and that's how you mount it. Uh, it there's a screw here that you can loosen that lets you extend this on out so you get more width. And you just turn this back down, it tightens that up. Now, things that I run across that I, I like and I don't like. It does get the mirror out here where you can see better, uh, and that's a really good safety issue. Things I don't like, uh, these clamps came with some little rubber pads that you can put under here. And I'll try to, try to put a better picture of that up in the corner, right in there, so that they won't fall off as easy going down the road. Well, <coughs> pardon me, I decided not to put those on there to start with. <coughs> pardon me. And I'm kind of glad I did because when I put these on here, it takes up so much space above my mirror that I can't adjust this mirror from inside. It, it, it binds it up. Uh, so if I put that little rubber pad on there, it would bind that this mirror up even more and I wouldn't be able to adjust it. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, but anyway, if you want to put this on the other side of the car, um, the um, mirrors come with an Allen wrench that uh, you can loosen up here. And to go on the other side of the car, you just take that off, you turn it around the other way, and now it would be set up for the other side of your car. And that's how you change which side of the car you're going to use those mirrors on. And mine are already set up for this side, so I'm going to continue showing you this. Um, but when you're installing it, uh, loosen your Allen wrenches or your Allen set screws up. And I'll do that again. And just kind of snug them up, but don't get them tight because you'll have to adjust them and then you'll tighten them up later. But put it on your mirror and try to slide these two out as far as you can uh, without getting into the curved part of your mirror here. Now I'm going to see if I can tighten this down a little bit. Tighten this one down a little bit. And you can also turn this. Now, if your set screws here are tight, you can't do this. Okay? So, uh, just leave them snug to start with. Once you get it where you want it, as far as where these are positioned, then you can tighten these down. 
and that works really well that part works good like I said the only negative I found here was they tend to interfere with this mirror because there's just not a lot of space in there for that little foot on the bottom here to go in there but it did work so I like that and then your mirror here if you're on the other side of the car there's a little thumb screw back here uh, but you can turn that around if you're on the other side of the car so they're very adjustable I do like that uh, if you need a little more length outside you can turn your mirror that way uh, so I do like the adjustability and uh, that sort of thing but now moving on to a problem uh, I read numerous places that people talked about them falling off going down the road and uh, I figured out a way to fix that I got me a little piece of rope and uh, get this knot out of it put me a loop on one end so I can just put it over here and I do that that secures that end of the rope to the car then I come over here to my mirror I go around here and pull it up kind of snug and I put a two half inch there now if you don't know what a two half inch is or if you don't know how to tie a two half inch that's no big deal just tie a knot that that you know that you know how to tie that is secure that'll stay there and my theory is if this thing falls off my car at least I don't lose it and that was the biggest complaint that I saw online reading reviews about these mirrors was they tend to fall off going down the road now at one point when we were coming home going going camping they stayed on just fine but coming home at one point the one on the driver's side of the, the can the car actually slid back like that and almost fell off and i think in, in retrospect in thinking about this i think the only reason it didn't fall completely off was my little rope came tight and wouldn't let it continue doing this number I think that's the only reason it didn't fall off and like I said that's the biggest complaint that I've seen about these mirrors is they tend to fall off on you so if you get these get your little piece of rope tie it on out here on the end of your mirror tie it up here somewhere so that if it does fall off at least you don't lose it so there you have it that's my review of these universal bar mount mirrors that I purchased for my car and they do work um, just have to be careful you don't lose them so anyway, if you find this video useful and helpful, uh, please click like and share it with your friends. We'd really appreciate that. And if you subscribe to our channel, it'll make it easier for you to find our other videos. As you can see behind me is our camper, our Kodiak camper we just recently purchased. And we'll be doing some videos of it. We'll also be doing videos of the destinations that we'll be going to and visiting. So, uh, you know, that's what you get for subscribing to our channel. You get notified and makes it easier to find those videos. So we just like to say thank you for visiting Bucket List Time with Ann and Wayne. And we hope you have a great day.